You know people will say stuff like, uh, God will show up and the Spirit will fall upon us. And I said it myself. Let me remind you, the Spirit fell on the human race a little over 2,000 years ago. And the old covenant was fulfilled in Jesus. And we are now living under a new covenant. <laughs> now Jesus came and restored a fellowship between the Father and all of us. The will of God has been written on our hearts. And now we're all children of God through the gift of His grace. And Jesus actually came to live among us and show us the love of the Father. And when Jesus left, He said that the Holy Spirit would be sent. And now that the Spirit has come to live within us, you know, Jesus did say the kingdom of God is within you. Now Jesus prayed in John 17 that we'd be one with God, just as He and the Father are one. We do not have to wait to die and go to heaven to enjoy kingdom living. No. We do not have to wait to be united with the Father. If we believe what Jesus said, we have the living, powerful, perfect will of God living inside of us right now. We have the Spirit within us, teaching us, guiding us, all with the perfect will of God. Now we can turn our thoughts inward and realize the Spirit is there, listening to us, loving us, and ready to teach us as we begin to hear that still small voice from within. Now let me point out something important in this teaching. We're all at different stages along this path that we walk. We need to remember none of us have it all figured out. And that statement includes me. We so often want to fuss and argue from the understanding that we currently have without realizing that none of us have reached completion yet. There is so much more that the Spirit wants to teach us. And as we become ready to accept it, new revelations continue to come as we are ready to receive them. How are you going to receive new revelations if you're not willing to listen to new thoughts? Yeah, it's in the unknown where the miraculous happens, right? So we all have so much more to learn as we walk with the Spirit each and every day. We should come to accept each other where we are, realizing what we know and what we believe today will more than likely change as we continue to walk under the guidance of the Spirit. Yeah, it's called growth. We can love each other, learn from each other, and accept each other just as we are. You know, like Jesus loves us and accepts us, just as we are. We should be looking within ourselves, listening for his guidance. Jesus was once asked when the kingdom of God would come. The kingdom of God, Jesus replied, is not something people will be able to see and point to. Then came these words, Neither shall they say, Lo here, or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. With these words, Jesus gave voice to a teaching that is universal and timeless. As Jesus made clear, we can experience this inner treasure, and nothing could be more valuable. Each of us are equal in important parts of the body with Jesus as the head. His church is not a building, not a denomination. His church is us, all of us. It would do us all good to start focusing on that fact. Because kingdom living is now. You know, it's not pie in the sky and a sweet by and by. Living and learning from the Spirit and living day by day with the Father is a reality that we all need to realize right now. And unless you are in obedience to the teachings of Jesus, He has no part of you. And he said, your house will fail. He said that the kingdom of God is within you. He said, you take away the key when you do not enter within yourself. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that hears my word and believes on him that sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. The simple truth is this. God lives within each and every single person who has placed his trust in Jesus and his words. If we really took this truth to heart, it would transform our daily routine. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in your midst? If you follow Jesus, God is within you right now. Imagine this awesome truth. It could change your attitude, affect your behavior, influence your actions. If we fully believe that every breath and heartbeat is inhabited with the Holy Presence. We probably love people more. We'd have more patience, treat people with more respect, trust God with our anxieties and fears, and be more careful about things that we say out loud, as well as the things that we mutter under our breath. 
I think it would be a much better world if we all realized that God and Jesus are living within us every moment of every day.